Hello and welcome to Our Devotions, where together we're developing lives with God at the center. I'm Daniel, and this is my amazing wife, Amanda. Today we're going to be praying for the broken and the hurting, so join us right now. I love that God invites us to partner with Him to see His will done. It's so easy to discount prayer. But in James chapter 4, verse 2, it says, You have not because you ask not. And God invites us to pray. In fact, He invites us not only to pray, but to pray that His kingdom would come and that His will would be done. Yeah. So these things that He wants, He says, I want you to pray them. And when we look in James chapter 1, he says that pure religion uh, before God is to visit orphans and widows and the afflicted. When Jesus tells us his mission, he goes, I'm here to heal the brokenhearted. God's desire for those that are broken is, is so great. And so we want to partner with him. We want to pray. And as we pray for the broken and hurting, people can say, who is that? Yeah. And to recognize that is those that are brokenhearted, that are those that are in prison, that are those that are in bondage, that are addicted, that are those that are um, widowed and isolated, orphans. Like the list is yeah. huge. So as we pray, I want to invite you to pray with us. And even if you, you share in the comments going, hey, the group I'm praying for is, it's the homeless, it's the imprisoned, it's the shut-ins, it's the, and you can fill in the blank with whatever it is that you're praying for. And as you look through the list and see some of those others, let that stir something up in you as you pray for them as well. Yeah, put it, even putting people's names in the chat, letting us know if there's someone specific that we can be praying for. We would love to be joining you in prayer for them. Well, let's get started. God, we just lift up every single person yes. that feels broken and hurting today. God, we yes. pray that your love would surround them like a hug. God, that your Holy Spirit, the great comforter, would yes. speak words of life and truth to them. God, that they would know that you are for them, not against them, that your great love is there for them. Lord, we pray your peace, which passes understanding, would surround about them and fill yes, their hearts Lord. in Jesus' name. God, we thank you for, for all those people that are in prison right now. God, we thank you that you'd reveal yourself to them. God, that they could encounter you, that they could encounter your grace and your presence, that they could be changed and transformed. God, I ask for a revelation of who you are. God, I thank you that any there that are there un, um, unjustly, God, that there would be exposed and they would be released. God, for favor over them. God, for those that are there for the things that they did, God, that they would repent, that they would find forgiveness mm -hmm. and that they would change and yes. come out freed, God, with a relationship with you that even though they're in a, in a mess now, that you can turn things around. Yeah. God, we lift up every person that is involved with orphans in any way. Yes. God, whether it's foster care, adoption, the parents, the social workers, God, we pray that you would give every person yes. hearts to see each other, the way that you see them. God, we speak peace and we speak joy over trauma, healing in minds where it is needed. God, that you bring the right people, the right doctors, the right counselors, yes. the right pastors, the right parents. Yes. You just surround each person with your healing power. God, that they would know of your great love yes. that brings change, that brings healing, that brings redemption. And God, I pray for strength for all those involved, that you would give them all supernatural wisdom and knowledge to know what to do and how to do it. Yes. As, just, as you're going, I, said, I want to pray for those that are struggling with addiction. And I was going to look it up here, but John chapter 8 uh, says that he who the sun sets free is free indeed. Uh, and, I, and he wants to bring freedom. And if you're struggling with an addiction, lift up somebody else if you're... If, if not, but if you're struggling, whether that's alcohol, drugs, whether that's things that you're looking at, there's so many addictions and some of them have big stigma, um, whether, you know, some of the drugs and alcohol, but we can get addicted to TV. We can get addicted to eating. We can get addicted and like there's a the healthy eating, but there's an addiction beyond. Right. And it's so easy to get caught into a trap. And God, I thank you that we don't need to live dependent on a substance, that we don't need to live dependent on these other things to, to pick us up or for a high. But God, I thank you that you set us free, that you redeemed us, God, that we can live in freedom. And God, that 
that these things that have held us would hold us no longer, that you said that those that we loosed would be loosed on earth and in heaven. So I speak a loose from the addiction. God, freedom from alcohol, freedom from tobacco, freedom from drugs, freedom from that addiction to food, that addiction to people's approval. God, I thank you for that workaholism to be broken, that their identity can come from you. God, I thank you for freedom for them in Jesus' name. Yeah, I love Psalms 91. So if you have been feeling broken or hurting or you have someone in your life that has been feeling that way, I want to encourage you to read through Psalms 91 and learn from this how to trust in the Lord and what that looks like and His promises. Just starting right in verse 1, right away it says, He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will remain secure and rest in the shadow of the Almighty, whose power no enemy can withstand. So be encouraged with that today. And we're going to start our confessions. So repeat these after me out loud. I cast my cares on God. I cast my cares on God. Because God cares for me. Because God cares for me. I choose prayer instead of fear. I choose prayer instead of fear. God hasn't given me a spirit of fear. God hasn't given me a spirit of fear. God has given me power, love, and a sound mind. God has given me power, love, and a sound mind. I am strong and courageous. I am strong and courageous. Fear has no place here. Fear has no place here. For God is with me. For God is with me. I live generously. I live generously. Overflowing with God's love. Overflowing with God's love. In all I do. In all I do. I put God first. I put God first. And He takes care of me. And He takes care of me. God, I thank you that you do take care of us, that you bring healing to those that are broken, that you bring freedom. And we ask that you have your way in and through each of us in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I hope this has been a blessing. If you've been blessed, like this, share this. It helps us. uh, It helps it get distributed as the platforms see that people are interacting and that they like it. Yeah, and remember that our challenge to you is to take time in your Bible each day and discover all that God has for your life. Be blessed. See you again soon.